Hi everyone, I'm Justin Searles from Test Double, and I just wanted to give you a quick nickel tour of our Double Takes Blogs build process. It uses Lineman Blog, which is a Lineman template. Lineman's a tool that we maintain that makes it really delightful to build fat client web applications, but also any project that generates static assets. And it's very fast because it uses Node.js. So uh, this is the, our repo for our Double Takes Blog. It's all open source. Feel free to clone it wherever you will. Okay, I'm going to say git clone clone into the directory, change into it. And at this point, uh, presuming you haven't run Lyman before, you would need to say Lyman install dash G Lyman to install it uh, globally. And also run npm install to locally install all the dependencies of the project. Those dependencies um, on the Lyman side, they include pretty much all of the concerns that might impact front-end development, um, grunt contrib, sass, and less, and coffee, uh, uglify, concat, source map, um, uh, grunt watch, no spawn, uh, and a whole bunch of others. The local ones include grunt markdown blog, which is a uh, grunt task that we did for, for making blogs with markdown syntax, kind of inspired by Jekyll. And obviously that's what this project uses. All right, we're ready to roll. So the first command in Lyman is Lyman run, which will start the server up and do an initial build of all the assets. So you see the markdown took less than a second. And the SAS, because Ruby has to start up, takes quite a lot longer. But then once it's warmed up, it stays running in the process. So it's much quicker after that. Hopping into a browser, I'll go to localhost 8000. We'll see, this is my recent talk on JavaScript testing tactics. And scroll through it, go to a previous talk here, and go to archives, and that's, that's pretty much the site. If you're interested, you can open this up in Sublime Text. Let's get over to here, apps, posts. Uh, so underneath app, uh, uh, CSS, image, JavaScript, we have some SAS here that uses some bourbon. We have a little bit of JavaScript, nothing special. And each of our posts here, and just this nice cute little name format for the files to keep them straight. But all the interesting stuff that you see on that page, like the title, the author info, um, the fact that we have a video embedded at the top, our, our template is aware of that video object. Uh, and then we also have a little TLDR section. We set that all up with metadata here. This is similar to the header section of a YAML file, which is what Jekyll uses. Uh, this isn't YAML, though. This is actually a CoffeeScript object literal. Uh, and it could really be any CoffeeScript evaluating to whatever you want. You could write a function in here if you cared to. Uh, but the purpose is that we want to expose properties for our templates, and we use underscore templates for rendering all of this um, uh, uh, into HTML to serve up statically. So let's see. And then my talk under here, obviously, everything after that uh, uh, triple tack is uh, it's just plain old markdown. And uh, it's generated by marked very quickly. Take a quick look at the templates. Our archive right here, the little like boxy view. Our index will just render a single post. And our post here, you can see things like, if the post has a video, render the video, etc. Render the author information, the author name, and URL. And it's just a simple underscore template, very, very basic. Because that's all this site will ever need. It was good enough for us. And then the wrapper for the overall for the overall page. Also might interest you to find where the configuration objects are uh, options are. They're all near the top here. This grunt markdown blog has the following options, you know, the the author, the title, description what URL it should live at, so it knows what URLs to build, how it wants to do the date formatting, uh, where it can find layouts and, and other paths, uh, that uh, what paths you want it to generate, for example, because at the end of the day, all that's going to get produced is static HTML. So all you're going to want to serve up is static files. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that's pretty much all of interest there from a productivity perspective, except that you might be interested to see how fast things are when I edit one of these files. So if I make a change here, to a single markdown file, I actually re-render, because I'm interested in the archive regenerator, the index regenerating, re-render all the markdown files. And you can see how fast that was. That was less than a second. Uh, if I change the CSS, you saw that the SAS was kind of slow at first. If I change the SAS now, it's already done. Uh, it, it, oh, 
I am wrong. Now it is done. That was actually quite slow. So, SAS is still slow. Uh, I prefer less for speed because less is implemented in JavaScript. Uh, but uh, when you like SAS things like Bourbon um, or Compass, I guess this is what you sign up for. So yeah, um, still I can live with the one or two second lag of SAS uh, uh, in this environment as opposed to the you know sometimes minute long builds that I was experiencing in Jekyll, which prompted me to write all this. So that's our experience. Um, once you're once you're ready to to go, you can either say lineman build and it will uh, uh, create a minified distribution. The JavaScript and CSS that is is minified into the disk directory. You can check that out. So this would just get pumped into some server somewhere. These are all of our uh, web fonts. And uh, if you wanted to post to Heroku, we, can, we make that actually very easy. We have a Heroku uh, build pack for Lyman. And simply, uh, you know, you can either set this as a config or when you create a Heroku app, it specify what your build pack is. It means that when you push to Heroku, you'll see uh, text like this building static web assets with Lyman, and then it'll go through and go through all the tasks. And during push time, Node is running and NPM is running, and it's all there. But during uh, build, uh, actual run time, it's running on Apache. It's not running under Node, because all it is is static files. So yeah, that is my nickel tour of Test Double's blog and how we built it with Lyman blog um, and uh, Grunt Markdown blog. So uh, thanks for watching.